What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, welcome back to the channel for another War and Order video, and you won't believe this guys, so I'm currently upgrading the Azerite Mine video, so you're getting two War and Order videos in one day, because guess what, Gandorf just hit me up and told me that there's an MDB level 26 castle with T9s lacking, he don't have a shield on, we need to hurry up and get our buffs on, because we are about to lay it to him, let me go ahead and get the, get all the buffs on correctly, I won't have my, I won't have my big, my 10% march buff, because I used it to, I didn't think I was doing any attacks, and I used it to hit monsters. Same chords. Alright guys, so here's the scout report. Um, where is that scout report? <clears throat> Let me find it. Oh no, where's the scout report? Hang on, okay, here we go. Well, I'll show you the scout report after this, but there's like over 300,000 troops. Hang on just a second. I'm going to have to turn the volume down on this. Okay, it's muted. Alright, guys. Ready? Make sure no one else goes. Alright, we got the SOS on. Oh man, I don't even have a... We might need Rezus. Actually, the three of us should be able to zero it. There's 300,000 T9 and T8 troops home, so... We're getting ready to go. So it's me, then Lance, then Ganondorf, then Rezus. This dude's done for, for real. I mean, uh, yeah, T9s aren't going to hold up against four people with t10 it's just gonna get real bloody another mdb down another enemy down and guys before you get upset saying all oh, you guys are three level 30 castles plus hitting f26 look at that our enemies 255 million another enemy 186 million then us then another enemy 177 then our only ally 108 million so when you see these numbers and you add them up and see that we're down four to one in power I hope you can understand why we're being so brutal. Alright, here I go. Double checking SOS. SOS is in effect. Alright. I need to use a bigger potion to get my get my pet. So we're going to hit with that, that. I don't have time to change much. There we go. Speed, 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 speed. Three seconds. It's not bad. Even if they're reinforcing, it's not going to matter. Let's go and watch the battle. Even with them reinforcing, guys, it's still going to be... They're still going to get messed up. Spider-Man joined. He'll help out a little bit, I guess. But it's not going to help out much. I really hope whoever that is marching does not speed up on my team. Because that's going to really mess me up if they do. I don't mind if the other team gets reinforcements. But if they reinforce then it'll cancel out the... It'll cancel out the SOS and then we'll lose troops instead of go wounded. So, alright, we're about done. Boom, we're done. Okay, go. So, it's good that we have as many people on as we do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to instant recall. Follow myself back. And then I need to show you guys. Oops, where am I at? I'm going to show you guys the rest of the battle. City buff. And then I'll go show my report. i got to put my buff on. Yeah, I got my VIP on. I was making sure I did. Alright. So here's Lance. He's laying it to him, and the reinforcements are getting killed too. He's still got 100,000 mage left, and he's walking down the pet now. All right. Now Ganondorf and Rezus are just going to kill off what's left, and on top of that, they're going to kill off the reinforcements. Battle report. I capped him solo right there. Shared alliance chat. Capped him solo. We'll go over the reports after the battles, like always. Next should be Ganondorf or Rezus. Oh, 
Oh, 96,000 losses, only 58,000 survivors. So Lance just messed them up real good. Good job, Lance. Now we got, I believe, Ganondorf or Breezes. Look at that march. 103,000 mage. 23,000. I can't tell if those are offensive or defensive mage. I think those are the defensive T10 on the left and the offensive T9 on the right. Just walking them down. Knocking out the rest of the reinforcements. At this point, I want... See how we, see how we got the second march on its way before it hits? We'll go over the reports in depth, but I just wanted to show you guys... The battle taking place. I know you guys like to see the action. So that's what we're focused on right now. I just realized I have 16 gems. I hope I use all those gems so fast. 3k gems like that. That's what you got to do, man, when you're when you're underdog. 37,000 more losses. 60k survivors left. Look at that. Only 14,000 wounded on his part. 216,000 mark, mark size and 137% mage attack. It's beautiful beautiful all right so there's all three reports Ganondorf didn't even need to hit it is he gonna hit it I don't believe he did okay yeah he didn't even need to so he's pretty smart not to waste an SOS when it's not needed so let's go over the report so you got our report got a little bit of resources a little consolation you can see that 152 mage attack looking sick the layering, I don't think it's too bad if I say so myself. Um, you know, look at this, guys. Those only 17k T9 mage got 69,000 kills. 116,000 T10 mage got 134,000 kills. So there is some layering to do there. Um, the T9 uh, infantry, half of them survive, half of them are wounded. Look at the T10 infantry, half wounded. So what I'm thinking personally, because the T9 are cheaper to heal than the T10, out of those 40k, 42k T10 infantry I sent, next time I'm going to send 30k, I'm going to send 10,000 extra T9 infantry. So we're going to start working on our layering guys and making it a little bit more plush and strong. Those, those cavalry are just there for show really. I'm going to add a few T9 cavalry next time, just like maybe 100. And then the T10 mage did great, but I'm going to knock them down to about 100,000 and add that extra 16k to the T9 mage, so we got about 30,000 of the T9 mage. So we're going to have a nice, beautiful layer, and we're just going to keep tweaking it until it's perfect, guys. So you can see he had T9s, T9s and T8s in, in his castle. He must have had some elsewhere, because I know he's got more troops in this. But you can see he's, even with the reinforcements, the T9 reinforcements from Spider-Man, I mean, he just took a lot of wounded, so, you know. The 59k wounded, that's not going to take anything to heal. You know, it's like 600k, 700k power. So, this is just, you know, Lance just now came back. He's starting to play daily again. We're going to start gonna start laying the wood to him all the time. So, you can see. Lance got his troops in there. He's got those, uh, see, he sent a little more T9, T9 infantry. And he's only got 2,500 wounded of them. So, uh, he's got more wounded T10. Um, they don't have as much HP. They do more killing, but they don't have as much HP. But if you look at it, the T9 did more killing than the T10 infantry. So that makes me wonder if the T10 infantry are really even that strong. So we're going to have to do some testing with that. The archers, um, they didn't die, and they got 1,700 kills. The T9 archer, T10 archer, he only sent 900 of them, but they did get 500 kills. So maybe the T10 archer might be something to send more of. Let's go ahead and take a look at our report again real quick. I want to see how many T10 Archer I sent. I sent about 11,000 and they got 8,000 kills. That's not bad. Maybe I'll send about 15k next time to see how it goes. We're going to just keep tweaking our layers and tweaking our layers. And Rezus finished him off with that 216,000 March size. He capped him. The only troops left, I believe. Yeah, hardly any of those are left. Beast is now reinforcing. Spider-Man, we wiped him out. But you can see, let's take a look at his layering. Now, interesting. No, no wounded T10 infantry for Beezus, and his got 13,000 kills, which is really good. He did send about the same as we did, about 10 to 15,000 of the T9 infantry. And then you can see his mage, mage did fairly well also. His archers did very well, they got, you know, half, 50% kills. His mage got even kills, and his T10 mage got 50% kills as well. So, 
what I'm wondering is how his T10 mage did so well. So what we're going to look at is for his T10 infantry. How did his T10 infantry do so well? So infantry HP 66%, defense 55, 66, 55. What's his infantry attack? Infantry attack. 104%. Let's go look at mine and Lance's infantry attack. That's what we're going to be focusing on here. 110%, HP 62. Similar, similar numbers. Defense 60. I'm thinking maybe it's since I was hitting... The only thing I can think of is the infantry hit first. And since I was hitting stronger troops, they, you know, were able to die more. And then when you're attacking the weaker troops, like the reinforcements, like Resist did at the end, and the troops that were left, maybe the infantry kill them easier. That's the only thing I can really think of. So, that is the battles guys hope you enjoyed it that's two videos in five minutes i i hope you uh like it i know a lot of you guys love the war and order videos i'm gonna keep them coming we're coming for realm 302 and if you're coming for the realm invasion you definitely don't want to get 302 on your radar because uh we're coming to hit people just like this we're gonna be rolling about five or six deep with these sos hits and um, stack attacks everything and the stack reinforces we're gonna start baiting people it's uh we are the master baiters shroom gang Let's do it. Peace out, guys.